hi to Chaco. Does not know it's undead mirror, but we know it's undead mirror. And 120 does get a graveyard first, uh, early, pretty early graveyard. He's getting a cool infi here as the, the blue undead. Maybe he thinks he has a better chance in uh, undead mirror than in in uh, human version undead. I called it. I mean, we we like the undead mirrors here in my stream, right? We like the undead mirrors. We saw Luc Lucifer against 120 earlier. Now we have 120 against Infi. Maybe cheeses every game now. Actually, Infi is playing this matchup pretty well. He beat Lucifer the other day. And if you can beat Lucifer, you can beat 120. Although it was a ladder game the other day. This is a... Uh, this is not a ladder game. This is a game with a lot of money on the line. Turn channel into all our snake channel. <laughs> Fortunately, I'd be lying. But Or you mean, should I... I mean, you mean just start playing snake all the time? I could do that. Yeah, we could turn our channel into all our snake channel. Except that I would lose all my viewers. Except for the few of you that are already addicted to snakes. We have a death knight here. We have some more fiends. Like, you, no one goes to Twitch and is like, oh, I want to see some snakes. But some of you, they they come for uh, to my stream like, oh, I want to see the whole scope finals. Then they see some snakes and then you get addicted to snakes, right? So that's how it works. The death knight is out now for uh, for Infi. Same here for 120. What a beautiful game. Yes, that. Can you eat everything in the Slither game? Uh, um, all the light bulbs. Light bulbs. Every light little ball you can eat, yes. What a lot means. How much money? Uh, it's a few hundred dollars. I don't know how much, but 300, 400, maybe even 500. Depends on the donations. APM, we don't see. I cannot show you the APM because uh, we're an observer. We're not watching this on Netty's TV, so I cannot show you the APM. Why no Cryptlord or Dreadlord Infi? Because Infi wants to win. Maybe he goes Necromancer, let's we'll see. We have uh, the Death Knight here with three fiends for uh, Infi. We have the Death Knight here with three, two, where's the third fiend for uh, 120? Is he fiend behind? Why is he? How is he attacking faster? He's probably attacking faster, slightly faster only. There's a skeleton in his base, but the ghoul is defending against the skeleton. Both players have three ghouls. Of course, they do uh, kind of the same build. Now they're 28 supply against 28, but Infi's uh, fiends are a bit earlier. And his tech, I mean the difference in tech. I think this is much better for Infi. He probably is uh, creeping faster, right? Oh, not really. I guess this extra fiend doesn't mean he's creeping faster. A it's a beautiful game. That's all I have to say, guys. That's all I have to say uh, at this undead mirror. This undead mirror we're watching. We have gloves of haste. We have uh, circlets. This death knight gonna sell something, I think. You know, we have... Oh, but the sentry wards are so much stronger than the illusions. Place a sentry ward over there. Illusion here, scouting. Don't, don't uh, let your illusion die. Four fiends creeping. The sentry ward sees everything that's uh, happening over here, though, for Infi. A player's force is I mean, the sentry ward is for 120, but he sees what Infi is doing. Oh, this, this death knight, this illusion death knight, uh, aggro the uh, murlocs, oh, and he is going to creep jack, but the, he's too late. Infi already has a level five wand of mana ceiling. The death knight here shows up with more skeletons. That's what he did, he bought more skeletons, both Death Knights did. And uh, we have so many Death Knights here for Infi. It's insane. Which one is the real one? The blue one? Well, they're all blue. They're all blue. This Death Knight, uh, you know, beautiful, beautiful play by the Illusions. Just uh, attacking those fiends, doing zero damage. There's a Koyo on the fiend. This fiend is ensnared. 
Can he get out? Oh, there. He's no longer ensnared. We have plenty of coils. That fiend is now never going to die. In fact, none of these fiends that we see on this battlefield are going to die anytime soon. We have a fifth fiend here for Infi, which is interesting because he's now one fiend up over 120. This is not a mirror build anymore. Uh, of course, 120 did not build the fifth fiend. He did build his lich and the slaughterhouse, but I assume Infi is doing the same. Uh, no slaughterhouse yet. Okay. Because of the fifth fiend, he cannot build the slaughterhouse yet. Of course, they are attacking to Black Citadel here at uh, slightly faster here for uh, 120 because he didn't get a fiend. But is it gonna make a difference? Well, we have another fight here over the go uh, the ogre. Um, I think Infi got it. Infi is almost level four. He also gets the item Potion of Greater Healing. This uh, item, uh, the kill went to 120. And uh, Infi with the skeletons tries to kill something. His death line might have to use a greater healing potion. He does use it. The early Lich, of course, doing beautifully. Here we have a Lich as well showing up with the skeletons. This Lich also bought the skeletons. We have a level 4 death knight now. Who do you think is the best player in the world? I, I don't know. It's hard to, to call out one player, really. Well, this... Uh, there's a nice coil on this fiend. Frost Nova on the Death Knight. These skeletons being uh, picked apart one by one. This, uh, okay, the skeleton is mostly down. We have still one skeleton here for 120. He steals some mana from uh, someone. Probably the Death Knight. But I'm not sure I didn't see it. I just saw the Death Knight stealing the mana. Kills the skeleton, the lich kills the skeleton. The lich is, you know, slightly more XP now for 120 because his lich was there before uh, Infi's. 24 XP against 42. The death knight though, more XP here for Infi. Level four death knight against a level three and a half. Of course, uh, 120 is gonna creep over here. Uh, the Overlord is going down pretty fast. Let's see what item we get. Do we get a super item or do we get a barely good item? This uh, fiend doesn't want to die. So he attacks another fiend. He gets a coil. It is a Helm of Failure. It's not a very good item. Doesn't even give any IQ. It's actually one of the worst ones. It's not as bad as a Legion Doomhorn. It's not as bad as a Crystal Ball. But besides that, I think it's the worst item. Even the Cloak of, Fl Cloak of Flames is better. It gives a bit of extra hit points on the Lich and a bit better attack speed and, of course, a little bit of armor. New over here, we get the Ankh. An Ankh. There's a Dark Ranger for uh, 120. Do we have a Dark Ranger for Infi yet? He is at Black Citadel. He doesn't have the money just yet, but now he has... Let's see what item Infi gets here. And also, this is interesting, 120 creep this item. Uh, Scourge Bone Chimes though, not that great in this matchup. He does get a level 4 Death Knight, his Lich is still level 2. Here we have a uh, Lich also still level 2. This Death Knight has been level 4 for forever. What do we get? A Clause of Attack plus 12. Okay, he has a 1 Gloves of Haste. It's definitely better than this, uh, this item, I think, the Home of Failure. But we don't have the Orb yet here. Did the Dark Ranger buy the Orb? Where's the Dark Ranger? She did buy the orb, but uh, I'm not sure if she can uh, reunite with the, her army. Uh, the Skeletons kill one Acolyte. Beautiful kill there. He's not even rebuilding the Acolyte. Did Infi not even notice? The ghouls fighting against the Skeletons. Infi is... If he can fight the fight before the Dark Ranger... No, never mind. Uh, well, there's the Acolyte. 50 supply against 50 supply. Cloak of Shadows. Gah. Gah. Oh, Gah. Uh, nice Frost Nova here on the Lich and Silence. Uh, skeleton goes down. So uh, both the Dark Ranger and the Lich got silenced. We still have coils, of course. So uh, Fiends don't die very easily. We have one attack upgrade, by the way, for 120. This Fiend is, uh, is dead. And this Fiend is also dead. Both players losing a Fiend. But this Fiend is super low on hit points and it gets another coil. This Lich is out of uh, Frost Novas though, but while we still have Frost Novas for 120, still one more after this. He kills one more Fiend, he was, he's already up uh, one Fiend. 
right? Three dead fiends, yeah. But the uh, supply is, yeah, he's, he's three supply up. He killed one more fiend. He killed two fiends, he lost one fiend, 120 he did. Infi, uh, so Infi lost two fiends. Oh, the Death Knight, he wants to steal something. Well, meanwhile, the Lich and the Dark Ranger want to level up. Dark Ranger level two. Oh, top of IQ there on the uh, Lich. The Death Knight is here fighting. I'm not sure, <laughs> they have uh, both the TP and the Info Potion. I'm not sure who just bought it and who had it from before. The Lich, no, what did he pick up? Book of the Dead. Did the uh, Death Knight snipe it? I assume he did. Because it's, it's Infi. Uh, Book of the Dead is probably going to be sold. I mean, could keep it. Force of the Destroyer. Destroyers aren't that great in this matchup. They're mostly just used to uh, dispel things like Book of the Dead. Or, uh, you know, School of the Beast. But you do get the upgrade for Destroyers. There's Abomination. There's a Fiend. Infi going over 50 already. Very early, uh, very early he's going over 50. Belt of Giant Strength. Not that great of an item. Does he... Who does he give it to? Does he keep it on the Dark Ranger? This is full on items. Maybe the Death Knight. Lich here has some extra hit points. Plus 17 damage here with one Gloves of Haste. Here we have uh, plus 7 damage, but 2 Gloves of Haste and, ex of course, uh, 22 Agility. This one only has 16 Agility. So the Liches... I'm not, go not going to do the math here, but I think they're pretty comparable. In uh, damage output. In items, the Death Knights as well, and uh, the Dark Rangers as well. I mean, no items here, but... Belt of Giant Strength is not that uh, impressive. Oh, Tome of IQ. So that, yeah, the item difference isn't uh, really relevant. Unless this Book of the Dead can do something. But I and I uh, expect the Destroyer to just eat it. Only two statues though. Oh, expansion going up here for Infi. Some more Murlocs dying. We have a level 3. A level 3 Dark Ranger, guys. Oh, and this expansion is going to be cancelled. It kills the Acolyte. A player's forces are under attack. Infi 58, 120 at 58. We have a Banshee in the base and some Ghouls. Is he just going to try to kill these units and TP out? I think he is because uh, 120 has a TP in, but he doesn't get any units. And um, he's going to fight here. He summoned some uh, destroyers, so doesn't have any statues, by the way. Uh, s we have one statue here for 120 and one destroyer. So uh, these uh, destroyers, of course, go down pretty fast. Let's see how fast he actually goes down. Uh, the silences were uh, cast earlier, but I think... Yeah, we, there's another silence here on the Death Knight and the Lich. But it can, can be uh, dispelled. No, oh, wait. Where's the destroyer for... Uh, I guess... Oh, there he is. There's a the destroyer for 120. Uh, this fiend here is super low hit point, but he did go underground just in time. This Lich takes a bit of damage, but he used the info potion. Meanwhile, we have a skeleton here in the front. This lich is Michael back, but can he... Uh, where's the Death Knight? Is he silenced or something? Oh, Death Knight is silenced. The uh, lich just goes down, but he has an Ankh. So, uh, didn't want to save him in, in any way. Uh, Death Knight didn't have mana, by the way. Even if he uh, dispelled the silence, he was like at 70 mana. Now it's like 85. Now he has another coil. This lich is under attack. Infi is to supply up. His Death Knight takes a bit of damage. He has an info potion still and a TP. He's TPing out. Uh, does he have fiends on the ground? Yes. Two fiends. Oh, this fiend dies just before he TPs out. Which means he goes back to under 50 supply. 49 supply. So he doesn't have to pay tax. So maybe losing that fiend wasn't, you know, that big of a deal. It was pretty good for him. We have a uh, level 4 and level 3 and level 3. Here we have a level 4 and level 3. And, you know, level 3. But the Death Knight here, almost level 5. Lich pretty close to level 4. Same here. Lich, same here. Death Knight, same here, also. Yeah, XP is just super similar. Super similar. Expansion expansion going up for Infi again. There's no more creeps on the map. Typical on that mirror here. Death Knight buys the Info Potion. Infi went over 50. Guess for the... Fiend, okay. Okay. 
Wait, isn't Envy a human player? He is a human player, yes. This Death Knight is so close to level 5. But yeah, there's no creeps. You can search, but you won't find. Infi probably wants to stay here on the high ground. But... Uh, beautiful. These Banshees are master. Do we have Banshees for Infi? Good question, Jaco. No, no Banshees for Infi. We do have Banshees here for 120. Maybe, you know, overcommitting on the Banshees. How many Banshees do you want? Five Banshees? Does it mean he's going to possess as well? There's an abomination he can possess. Right, if you have five Banshees, you can use Enter Magic Shell on everything and possess maybe. However, there's silence. So you also have to silence your opponent's Dark Ranger. Maybe. However, if he forms destroyers, he can dispel the silence. And then he can silence your Banshees. But still, that might uh, be worth a shot. Trying to possess a, a Abomination. There goes a Ghoul. A player's force possess Banshees, attacked. Infinite Loop. Oh, these Banshees in the back, they don't have anti magic shell. Okay, use the anti magic shell on the Banshees. Look, proof that they can be casted on the Banshees. Anti magic shell. You hardly ever see that. He did get the second ghoul as well. Two dead ghouls there for Infi. The Infi lost two ghouls to this. Is Infi now all matches random? I don't know if it works like that. We have three zero upgrades, by the way, for Infi on the Fiends. We have uh, two one upgrades here for uh, for 120. Which is interesting because 120 against Lucifer went for three zero upgrades. And it was Lucifer that went two and one upgrades. So I'm not sure how they decide what upgrades they get. But there's a coil on the Abomination. This Abomination takes a bit of damage as well. This Abomination dies there for... Uh, uh, and the fiend dies as well for Infi. Uh, he finally kills his abomination of 120. There's a coil on this uh, fiend saving it. The fiend also is dead. The lich uh, killing so many units there. This uh, get, uh, the fiend gets a coil. There's a web on the destroyer. Destroyer of course can be killed easily. We have a level five death knight though for uh, 120. So level three coil, super powerful. Now we have a level five death knight for Infi as well. Infi loses another fiend. Infi is losing. He just needs to hang on and let this expansion pay off somehow. Does Did 120 not, uh, not scout the expansion? Maybe he didn't. This fiend does go down. Oh, now he finally sends some skeletons to that expansion. Meanwhile, the death knight here takes a bit of damage. He has an info potion. These banshees now being focused. One goes down. Koyo was too late to save the fiend. And uh, that means the fiend is dead and the coil was wasted. Of course, we have one more coil. There it is on this fiend. He's kind of out of mana now, but he has a statue here. Uh, regenerating his mana. Meanwhile, these skeletons are killing these acolytes. Another fiend is dead, and 120 is just so super powerful. He's getting another. Exp he's getting an expansion up as well. He's going to kill this expansion of Infi. What can Infi do? He he can try to kill the Dark Ranger with the Fos Nova or the Death Knight. Force the DP. Loses a fiend to the Fosnova of uh, 120. There's a Fosnova on these fiends. Does no damage, but it does slow them down. And GG. What a GG there. Infi GG's out. I hope we have five matches here of Undead versus Undead. That's gonna be amazing. Five times. What What's the chance that he gets Undead five times in a row, right? So one out of four, one out of uh, 16, one out of... Uh, 64 one out of 256 one out of like 2000 you know roughly it's a bit more than 2000 but you know I, i'm done doing math okay one out of 2000 but also that means we have to have five matches 
don't know what the chance for that is. Especially if he's playing as undead, of course. Uh, he, he might not reach, uh, he might not win two games, but we'll see. Infi goes for Death Knight and Fiends. Uh, 120 is going for Death Knight and some ghouls. His uh, graveyard is very late. He gets an early Death Knight. Okay, he goes for a fast Death Knight, late, late Fiends. He did scout undead already with the Acolyte. Beautiful. Beautiful game. Chance of 5 times undead is higher than 5 maps mirror since he won't win 2. Well, maybe. Maybe he can uh, somehow... Somehow win a game or two. I mean, I don't think it's it's that unlikely for Infi to win 2 games in a undead versus undead. Is it random for Infi or for both? Only for Infi. Uh, one of 1024? No, I think it's one out of uh, 2048, right? A player's forces are under attack. <laughs> or was it wrong? Is it one out of uh, 1024? What did I say? 4, 16, 64. 64, 256. Oh no, you're right. It's one out of uh, 1024. You're right, uh, Muradorn. We have uh, skeletons, it's a fiends. I don't know, man. Doing math on stream is like the most difficult thing you can do in your life. Like, doing math, like off stream, it, you know, it's possible. You can always pick a use a calculator. But on stream, it's just so much more difficult. We have a death knight creeping over here. We have a, a death knight creeping here. Beautiful. This death knight level two here for uh, for 120. This death knight is almost level two here for for Infi. Players' forces are under attack. They have the same amount of fiends, but the fiends are gonna be a bit later here for 120. He's building one more fiend actually over Infi. Maybe on this map, uh, the extra fiend is gonna be super powerful because they're so limited on creeps. If you have an extra fiend, you can go uh, for more creeps over uh, compared to your opponent, and uh, that's gonna be great. Your opponent will have an earlier lich though, uh, but it doesn't matter because you have more XP. Maybe. We'll see. This Death Knight with super items, so two circlets and a clause of attack. This Death Knight with just a clause of haste. Did he uh, buy anything? I don't know. I didn't pay attention at the start of the game because I didn't think it was very important. The math was more important, but you know, now I realize I should have checked where he got those items from. One of them from over here. One of them from over here. I'm not sure about the third one. Did he buy it? I can give you some differential equations and you solve them on stream. That sounds impossible. We have four fiends now against just two fiends. We have a Naga. Oh, Naga second and a third fiend for 120. Look at the Naga flank attack. F Naga flank attack. The Death Knight took a lot of damage though for uh, 120. But the Naga flank attack just uh, going for these fiend. But the, the way they moved, the Naga flank attack wasn't even that effective. This uh, Death Knight is getting out. Of this situation because he doesn't want to die which I understand of course and the Naga flank attack did nothing every fiend every death knight survived for Infi um, how come the supplies are even we have Naga here we have four fiends here five fiends or do we have a six acolyte somewhere for uh, yeah we have a six acolyte Acolyte here for 120. He gives the items to the Naga. Keeps one circlet on the Death Knight. Look at the Skull of Blight. So he can... Uh, sacrificial Skull, I mean. So he can regenerate even more hit points while creeping. <laughs> Meanwhile, over here we have... Uh, 120 creeping and the Acolyte even helping. Acolyte doing a great job here with his hands. I mean, <laughs> fighting in a war with your hands, that's just 
so courageous. He does have uh, all the circlets now on the Naga. Naga level 2, Death Knight level 2. Here we have a Death Knight level 3, but no second hero yet. The Lich will be here someday in the far future. They're both going to Black Citadel. They're both getting Slaughterhouse, right? No, maybe not Infi. There it is. There's a the Slaughterhouse. A bit later for Infi than it is for 120, but that's fine. Eclide, is he going for an expansion? Is he just pretending to? I think he's just pretending. He's not going for an expansion, not anytime soon. Maybe later in the game, you know. Players not yet. Meanwhile, the Death Knight with the Fiends creeping here, killing all the Murlocs, all the innocent Murlocs even. The Death Knight is level 3 now for a 120. The, the Naga okay, <laughs> got another surplus. She is pretty strong. She is, uh, she has plus 8, plus 8, plus 8. There's a statue as well. There's the Lich. No orb yet though, even though uh, it's so close to Black Citadel. Slaughterhouse going up. This Acolyte hiding behind the uh, the trees. I see him, guys. I see him. I can see his uh, head sticks out behind the trees. Skeleton is dead. Okay, there's a statue, second statue. Do we have statues here yet? There's the first statue. He has two statues behind. Behind 120. And, oh, he's going for this creep camp. The Acolyte cannot see this. Even though it looks like he can, he can't. The trees are just too thick. Double C. He cannot see through the tree line. Uh, Ring of Regeneration. I guess it's useful right now. It's definitely it's kind of low on hit points. And here is 120. This is still level 1. A TP out here by Infi. Of course. And he kills the Murloc. Does he kill the Murloc? Yes, he kills the Murloc. What a nice kill there by uh, by Infi. This creep camp. But 120 with the expansion. And what third hero do we have? We have a Lich with the orb here for 120. What do we have here for Infi? He is most likely gonna get a Dark Ranger later in the game. 45 supply, that means he can get exactly Dark Ranger instead 50 supply. A player's forces are How attack. nicely calculated here by Infi. There's the Dark Ranger. She, she's a bit cold because, you know, she got hit by a cold arrow. The Naga almost level 3, but not quite. Slish uh, level 2. Beautiful. Oh, if, you, if you can get a Murloc. Just one Murloc. Actually, it might not be enough. The level 1 is not enough by himself. At least not if he uh, splits the XP with the Lich. But the level 3 will be enough. This Naga will be level 3. No, never mind. The Death Knight shows up. Steals a bit of XP. Oh, kill this baby Murloc. No, it went... Okay, no, he kills the other Mur Murloc. We have a level 3 Naga now. Nice coil there on the Fiend. The Fiend is still alive. Death Knight is focused a little bit. But he might go back, of course. That's what he does. This Naga is so hard to kill with these uh, circles and Info Potion. This uh, Fiend is still alive. Gave the close. Oh, Lich is dead for Infi. And the Fiend also dies. That was horrible for Infi. Oh, sorry for that. And uh, don't forget, we have an expansion up, up going up for 120. He's building more Acolytes. And, you know, Infi has to wait 36 seconds for his Lich to come back. Oh, no. Level 2. Lich was level 2. 72 seconds. Fiend takes a bit of cold. These fiends are 0 0. He's getting one attack upgrade. Same over here. The town is under siege. Well, the Lich is gonna be back in a moment. And then we'll have another fight. Maybe. Oh, he kills the. Uh, he actually killed this building. Oh, it was a shop. It was just a shop. I mean, the shop, of course, dies pretty fast. This Death Knight has, like, no items. Just a ring of regeneration. This Death Knight has a TP. Definitely think the items are probably a bit better there for, uh, for 120. Like, yeah, they definitely are. Ring of protection plus 3, what the fuck? He still died. This Fiend is, uh, is, is, is fine. He's my good back. This Death Knight is silenced. There's a fork lining and this cold arrow. This Death Knight is solo on hit points. 
This fiend though is dead and the, the lich gets a coil so he's still alive and he is just killing fiends. Infi is just... Oh but this lich is dead! Oh my god. He loses his lich. His death knight still full mana but he was just too far away. I think the cooldown was already done but he was just... Couldn't reach that lich with the coil. This fiend here is dead and there's a coil on the dark ranger. She survives for now and uh, you know... These undead heroes for 120, I think they're just a bit too strong. But can he fight in the undead base? There's a abomination out now, which is great against heroes, great against fiends. There the fiends uh, burrows. The fiend is dead though. Abomination is slowly attacking, slowly trying to kill uh, whatever it can. There's another coil on the fiend. When's the lich coming back? No, no time soon. Did the dark ranger go down by the way? She did go down. Okay, I missed that. Oh, there it is. Dark Ranger has fallen. Uh, Abomination, though, takes so much damage. There's a coil. Saves him for now. Uh, Death Knight is gonna be just fine, of course, because, you know, why not? Um, what? He does have level uh, 1 Cold Arrow, by the way. Level 2 Forked Lightning makes a lot of sense. Uh, there's another Forked Lightning. Lich is now level 2. When is this Lich coming back? In a moment. Can Infi make a comeback here with this super powerful Lich that's level 2? There is the Lich. He only died twice this game. But, you know, we all know you only die twice. This Death Knight has a TP. This Fiend is dead to the Fosnova. Nice play there by the Lich. Just killing a Fiend. Immediately uh, he, he shows up. Immediately shows his power. And uh, 120 is afraid. He's afraid of this Lich. That's why he's uh, focusing the Fiends. This Fiend goes underground. And he's dead. He dies, actually. That's a beautiful death by the Fiend. The Fiend is Michael back there. One zero upgraded for Infi. Meanwhile, this expansion has been uh, going up without anyone harassing it. There's a coil on the Lich. The Lich is still alive. We do still have this TP available if he wants to TP out. Oh, Naga takes uh, some damage, but the Lich takes even more damage. The Lich is, gets a coil, so he's fine. There's Death Knight here. Takes a bit of damage, he's silenced, he's uh, also just fine. Nice first Nova here on this fiend. And he eats a fiend with the Lich. 120 uh, retreats, but you know, he's 10 supply up, his expansion up. He is, he has so much money, he's upgrading just and everything. Fiends are 1 0, there will be 2 and 1 soon. These fiends are already 2 and 0, by the way, for Infi. He's getting more fiends, he's, uh, he's just trying to kill units. He needs to kill units. He needs to kill so many units for uh, for him to make a comeback. He doesn't know about the expansion. This statue is almost dead, but it survives barely. Abomination doing his best with his uh, cleave cleaver, uh, and he does go down here. There's no more coils here for Infi, by the way. He's out of mana on the Death Knight. Well, here we have full mana. What the fuck? Full mana for 120. Did he even use a single coil this game? Well, he just used one. And this Lich. Oh, this Lich could use another coil because... Yeah, okay, there it is. Uh, because else he would die. The Death Knight Michael's back, of course. He still has this uh, regeneration ring. Uh, another coil there on this Lich. Cool, cool, cool. Look at this. So many fiends just queued up. Abominations. No banshees yet, by the way. No banshees yet. These guys are 2 0. These guys as well. Infi staying under 50. Maybe you should start buying some of these items. Like gloves of haste. Okay, what did he buy? Potion of greater mana. Okay. Needs some mana on the death knight. Um. Yeah, definitely has to be Michael back because he's being focused. Naga here with five circles now, by the way. <laughs> Did he just buy another one? This Naga is so powerful. Plus 10 on everything. Attacks fast. Hit points a lot. A lot of mana. Good mana regeneration. Good hit point regeneration. Even armor. Plus three armor. Players' forces are under attack. Did he buy a mana potion at the marketplace? That might be it. Yeah, that might be what um, 120 did before as well.
Tanks for sure. <laughs> oh, second expo for 120. Oh, wow, that's so powerful to get a second expo here. 66 supply has 47. These fiends are 2-1 two two now against 2-0. But 120 is still retreating here. He's uh, right clicking the death knight a little bit. He has a yielding scroll and an info potion now, by the way. This lich takes some damage, but there's a coil saving the lich just before he dies. For gliding, there's so much damage there, but the lich. He gives the info potion to the lich. There's a coil on this lich. The fiend goes down for Infi. This fiend here is also dead. These fiends, very low hit points. Another fiend goes down. And these fiends are micro back beautifully. Death Knight is still alive. Um, do we have another Frost Nova? We have one more Frost Nova. Over here, we also have. We have probably two more Frost Novas here for 120. And there it is. GG. Michael Warden. Well, we'll see. Maybe we get a Paladin. Unfortunately, this is uh, we don't get a Paladin because he's Night Elf. It is a Warden. So uh, nice, nice job, Bambi on fire. You called the Warden, and she picked up the phone. There is uh, another Moonwell. Ancient of War is over there, beautifully. We see some ghouls, some death knights. It's Acolyte scouting. It's Acolyte, we'll see everything though. Uh, maybe he can send out some ghouls and death knights to uh, harass this creeping. Wisp is beautiful. Acolyte comes in, is he gonna steal the first of Shadow Priest? Probably not, but uh, the Acolyte does try to kill an Acolyte Wisp here. This Wisp under 100 hit points, so one coil will kill it. This Wisp at 107 hit points. There's the Warden. Death Knight, where's the Death Knight actually? We have two ghouls. Death Knight just now uh, on his way. The Warden will kill the Ogre, uh, I mean the Golem. It's two uh, Ogres, they might die as well, but there's the Skull of the Beast. Oh, did he kill one of those Wisps? I didn't see detonate. What? How much XP does he have? Did he get the uh, Golem? Yes. <laughs> How did he steal? Did the Acolyte steal the Golem? I didn't see anything. Was there an Acolyte there? I thought the Acolyte was already dead. And there goes the Wisp. I didn't see the ghouls there. Okay, the Acolyte stole the Golem. My chat confirms. Uh, I'm blind, apparently. Because I, I just didn't see it. There goes the Archer. We have a level 2 Death Knight now. The Warden has a nice 49 XP. Which is... Uh, oh, the ghoul goes down. So uh, 89 XP now, which is the Acolyte, a Ghoul, and uh, wait, 25, 65, and some Skeletons, two Skeletons is uh, 89. The Death Knight though, nice, level 2, that's nice. Ooh. Mantle of IQ, by the way, is a pretty nice item for the Warden. Skull of the Beast is probably not that great. Oh, here come the ghouls. Of course, the Ancient of War also went down. So, uh, and he's not rebuilding an Ancient of War. The Warden will have to defend this by herself with the uh, Four Soul Shadow Priest. No, nothing else. Okay, the Berserker. Okay. But the Berserker is stuck behind the Golem and he TP's home. This Forestal Shadow Priest will die to Coil maybe? No, he's 110 hit points. Would survive a Coil, so he, of course he doesn't use the Coil. There's another Moonwell being built. Can the Warden defend this by herself? There's a nice Wisp incoming. The Wisp is detonating, do, does not hit the Skeleton, so... Uh, we do have, you know, a Warden that's surrounded. Does he have Dust? Yes. Do we have Blink? No. Oh no, this game might be a quick one, guys. This game might be a quick one. We have an Ancient of War going up. Although the Warden will be back at 36 seconds. He's just level 1. This uh, this ghoul goes down. This Ancient of War. There it is. GG. Infi loses to 120. 3-0 in the finals. 120 wins 3-0 over Infi.